Hi everybody, welcome to Tech Growth Talks channel. Today I present you a new episode. Specifically, I will give you the best return on equity stocks as of right now and for this new year 2021. So these are excellent return on equity stocks and they have strong growth and strong momentum as well. So I think these are candidates for super performance for this new and exciting year. So before I start right off with the first talk, I have to make a short disclaimer. This video does not constitute financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. So please consider that. And one more quick note, please subscribe to my channel with the link below in the description now so that going forward, you do not miss any market leading super performance stock from me. So please subscribe now. Okay, everybody. So that was it for the intro. So let's start right off with the first best return on equity stock for 2021. And it is, as you can see it in the chart, PTON, Peloton Interactive. So this has been a stock which I have been rec um, covering in my videos for quite some, uh, for, for quite some months now and um, I bought it myself uh, around here 100 and later I sold it a little bit early but I made more than 30 percent profit in a quite short period of time with that stock so this was a good candidate but I think still it's a strong stock going forward and um, especially if you see look here in the long term chart you can see the IPO was last uh, 2019 in September so it's a quite young company and um, and the if you buy stocks in their first 10 years after their IPOs, they make their hugest gains, their strongest gains. And so this could be a candidate for way strong performance going forward, I think. So it definitely makes sense to cover this stock and to focus on this stock. And it's also in my other strategies in the tech growth stock strategy. And also it was also um, in my, um, Tech momentum stocks strategy. Yeah, Peloton. Um, I mean, here you can see the when you look at the chart. Yeah, yeah, it built a nice IPO base. It broke out of that IPO base and had a formed a way strong uptrend. And in the short term chart, here you can see that uptrend and you can see as well. Let's say from uh, October until December. Uh, 14 we have been consolidating but then we could break out here from that look um, from that handle lower handle and trade to the upside strongly with peloton and um, i think it's no surprise because peloton's growth characteristics are excellent the eps growth is very strong with 2360 percent the sales growth is also super strong with 202 percent and the relative strength rating is excellent as well with 97 and the return on equity is super excellent with 202 percent so i think with that stock you cannot make any mistakes this is my opinion i mean with so a strong return on equity and so strong growth characteristics and also with a, it's in a hot sector in the um in the leisure sector or travel and leisure sector and internet sectors with that fit internet fit, fitness so i think this is definitely a vast return on equity stock okay everybody so that was it for peloton now let's have a look at the next best return on equity stock for 2021 and it is ETSY Etsy. Here you can see the longer term chart of Etsy, and as you can see, uh, Etsy also was a recent, um, not so recent IPO, but not it's not an old company. April 2015 was its IPO, so now it's uh, in this in its six years after its IPO. So I think this definitely definitely could have some more run to to go going forward. And yeah, after its IPO, it had a downtrend 
uh, until February 2016, where it made it slow. Then it reversed, form a nice new, it could form a nice new uptrend until March 2019. Then we had a consolidation phase, with co which coincided with a March low. And from that March low in 2020, we could reverse together with that Corona um, crash. And after we made the lows, also in the index indexes, we could. Um, Reverse in Etsy as well, trade to the upside, break that downtrend here, that consolidation downtrend and form a nice and new way strong, less volatile uptrend. The short term chart here, you see that uptrend. You can see as well, if you look here at the long term chart, the green line is a, corresponds to the 100 day moving average. And we bounced on that line two times, that would be here and here. And yeah. And recently we accelerated to the upside strongly in Etsy. And um, yeah, in the last trading sessions we came back a little bit in Etsy. So I think soon there could be an attractive entry point in Etsy. Etsy's growth characteristics are excellent. DPS growth is super strong with 483%. The sales growth is also way strong with 132%. And the relative strength rating is very really good with 95. And the return on equity is also excellent with 132%. And Etsy is in a hot sector in the internet retail sector, which has been a good performing sector over the last years. So I think Etsy is definitely a best return on equity stock for 2021. Okay, everybody, so that was it for Etsy. Now we come to the next best return on equity stock for 2021, and it is MRNA Moderna. And here you can see the longer term chart of Moderna. And as you can see, Moderna was an IPO in December 2018. So it's quite a young company. After its IPO, it formed a nice IPO base here. And it could break out of that base, let's say around February 2020, and um, form a nice and very strong uptrend. And if you look here in the short term chart, you see that uptrend here, and you see a consolidation phase, which lasted, let's say, which was from May 2020 until November 2020. And in November, 11th of November, we could break out of that consolidation phase and trade strongly to the upside. And we had a very strong run in Moderna. And I think now it makes sense that we come back. And as you can see, we came back quite uh, heavily. And I think still Moderna could be an excellent candidate going forward. I think Moderna will benefit a lot from the from its um, uh, the scene and um, I, I think it will have very strong gains going forward with that uh, with that scene rollouts. Okay, so Moderna's growth characteristics are excellent as well. And the EPS growth is not the strongest, it's 18%, but the sales growth is super strong. And I think that will continue and eventually drive also the EPS growth. And it is the sales growth is 617%. And the relative strength rating is very good as well, with 97. Yeah, it's a hot biotech company. And um, the return on equity is super strong, with 617%. I mean, do you see that? I mean, how the hell they cannot make money going forward and deliver the strongest EPS growth ever? I mean, 617%, that is... I mean, we are in the situation is made for Moderna now with that pandemic, clearly. So I think that is an attractive entry point as we stand here at $104. Um, yeah, and I think soon a bounce to the upside could be is eminent. And maybe we now we are at a little bit below the 50 day moving average, but I think it still could hold and we could bounce off it. Yes, okay, so that was it for Moderna. A best return on equity stock 
And now we come to the last best return on equity stock for 2020 for today. And it is GRWG, Growth Generation. Here you can see the longer term chart of growth generation. And as you can see, growth generation was an IPO in November 2016. After its IPO, it had a nice run up, but then a longer term, let's say, downtrend. And um, November 2017, it had a strong break to the upside, traded strongly to the upside, but then until January 2018. And then we had a long term consolidation until let's say this year july and in july we could break out of that consolidation and form a nice and new strong uptrend and grow generation in the short term chart you see that nice uptrend here and you can see as well recently here we have been accelerating and i think a breakout above these highs could uh, would mean further get further stronger gains in growth generation. Growth generations growth characteristics are very good. The EPS growth is one hundred four percent. The sales growth is one hundred thirty eight percent, and the relative strength rating is excellent with ninety nine. And it's a and um, its return on equity is very hot as well with one hundred thirty eight percent. So growth generation clearly is a vast return on equity stock. Okay, everybody. So these were the best return on equity stocks for 2021 for today. I hope that in this video are some nice return on equity stocks which you can use for your own analysis. And if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. This would help you very much. And also please subscribe now with a link in the description to my channel so that going forward, you do not miss any super performance stocks of me. So please subscribe now. And um, I hope to see you again soon in the future. And I wish you good luck in trading for this new exciting year 2021 which will be, I think, an exciting year for stock trading, especially with all that gross uh, stimulus going on from all these central banks over the world. I think this, I think this uh, new decade will be an exciting decade for equity stocks. So, um, so I think I'm looking forward to this year and I'm happy to be in this exciting phase. Okay, I hope to see you again soon and Cheers.